Numerous other suspects are being pursued in Kiffy D's court case for Tupac Shakur's murder, particularly by the defense. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. In addition, his attorneys filed a recording on Thursday, January 11th, in which he stated that Diddy had offered him a million dollars to kill the West Coast icon. The video purports to show Kiffy chuckling at his supposed connection with Vegas cops rather than the bad boy mogul at all. Tensions between the East Coast and the West Coast had apparently reached an all-time high, and Sean Combs wanted Pac and Suge Knight dealt with. Moreover, this comes after additional allegations that Diddy was involved in this entire scandal. In 2011, for instance, LAPD. Detective Greg Kading made the same claim, saying Suge was responsible for the Biggie Smalls hit. He remembered, we got Kiffy D's back up against the wall, describing how they started to piece the narrative together. This is all pure speculation, but it also serves to highlight the length of time that rumors such as these have dominated gossip blogs and hip-hop discussions. He explained to us that him and his nephew, Orlando Anderson, and the rest of that little crip entourage, committed the murder of Tupac out in Las Vegas, Kading continued of Kiffy D and Diddy's involvement. Then he explains that the conspiracy to commit the murder of Tupac had developed in Los Angeles during his conversations with Puffy Combs. We realize now that we had some legitimate ownership of Tupac's case, too. Even though the murder took place in Las Vegas, and technically it was their investigation, since the conspiracy to murder happened in our jurisdiction, it gave us a legitimate cause to investigate it. Since now we had the star witness, and now we needed to protect him in order to further the investigation to take it up to where it's tied to the other conspirators, we needed to really protect that aspect of the case, he went on. Because if it got out, hey, Kiffy D's cooperating, or anything like that. Well, you can imagine that would have interfered with the ongoing investigation. Even though he was an eyewitness in the Tupac Shakur murder case, Suge Knight says he'll decline if called to testify against the defendant, Dwayne Kiffy D. Davis. Suge Knight is astonished that there has finally been an arrest in the case. Despite being an eyewitness to the 1996 shooting, Suge Knight will not be testifying against Dwayne Kiffy D. Davis in the Tupac murder prosecution. In an interview with TMZ on Monday, Suge Knight talked about the arrest of Dwayne Kiffy D. Davis in relation to the murder of Tupac. Kiffy D had never get arrested, nor do I want to see him get arrested. The co-founder of Death Row Records stated over the phone that he has no intention of offering testimony in the probe. I'm not going to get on the stand and testify on somebody for what? The long unsolved case has now been charged for the first time with Kiffy D's arrest. The 60-year-old former gang member has been charged with murder with the use of a deadly weapon with the intent to promote, further or assist a criminal gang, marking the first time charges have been made in the 27-year-old case. Well, surprise, number one, Suge said of his reaction to the news. Because I didn't think Kiffy D had never get arrested. Nor do I want to see him get arrested. Let's get one thing straight, first and foremost. Me and Kiffy D played on the same Pop Warner football team. And whatever circumstances if he had an involvement with anything, if he didn't have an involvement with anything, I wouldn't wish somebody going to prison on my worst enemy. Knight went on to confirm that Orlando Anderson, the nephew of Kiffy D, was not the shooter. The comments match up with another witness in the investigation who told a Las Vegas grand jury deemed her Big Dree Smith shot Tupac. I'm not gonna tell the story. I ain't gonna tell the story, but I tell you this. I never had nothing bad to say about Orlando because he wasn't the shooter, it wasn't Anderson. So that's all I got to say about that part. From there, he confirmed he won't testify in the case. I'm not gonna get on the stand and testify on somebody for what? For voluntary they manslaughter, Suge Knight is currently serving a 28 year sentence. On Wednesday, October 4th, Kiffy D will show up in court for his arraignment. Suge Knight's remarks reaffirm those of a witness who asserted that Orlando Anderson wasn't the shooter in the weeks before to Kiffy D's capture. The witness testified before a grand jury in Las Vegas that Deander Big Dree Smith was the one who actually shot Tupac. Watch this space for further information regarding the Tupac's murder probe. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.